Hello and welcome to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. I am Cody. And this video is going to be unique because unlike the others, this won't be just real time. Because here's the deal. I recorded 15 videos, seven and a half hours, and didn't have a microphone plugged in. And here's the other thing about those seven and a half hours. Mostly, I'm just building this base. So we're just gonna go through it quickly. We're gonna go through seven videos in this half hour and uh, another seven in the next. And I'm gonna put a new audio track on, which I'm doing right now. And that's just gonna be how two episodes of 30 Minute Valheim are gonna be, y'all. And I thought a lot about it. I was like, am I gonna be concerned about some purist notions? And then I remembered I already lost two videos. I've already not cut exactly 30 minutes. And also, this is my thing that I'm making. And why not make a silly thing where we run through and make a base? And so with that in mind, I'm going to now just get on with it. So this is the base. This is the place I'm building because as soon as I kill the Elder and I get a raid and some big trolls come at me, I'm going to want to be protected. And this is the way I'm doing it. Chopping down a lot of hard wood. I want to make a base that can be eventually tall. And also, check out the check out the soundtrack. I actually like it in the Black Forest. Not so much in the Meadows, the sped up version. But in the Black Forest, it really kind of had a good feel to it. So yeah, this is me just kind of trying to get some like semblance of a flat enough thing I decided to go with all hardwood around the boundaries and uh, just floor it like this and the big battle over and over is just having enough wood getting enough wood going back and get more wood and the other battle is just making decisions about what to do creatively and how to do it within the physics of the game um, I definitely want this basement here. I kind of want to play with that idea. It's a, not only a protected space, but then also uh, kind of a free spot to put things without having to worry about constructing. Um, and yeah, this is me just kind of like popping as many of these things around as I can, getting the general idea of how this is going to be built. 30 days into this game, um, putting my base together, running around the Black Forest. I mean, it's a lot of fun to me. And... I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of it as soon as we get through these two episodes and actually kind of playing maybe at a pace that I can keep up with on my system and also a pace where I'll be not making mistakes for 15 videos in a row before I notice them. Yeah, so we're getting the walls around the side here. I think this was just almost at the end of kind of completing what this video would have been. There's places where I slow down. Um, and take a look at what's going on and let the real time like this happen. I think that was the mark of the first video being over. And this is the start of the second one. I'm just kind of waking up, going through like, okay, what am I doing now? What's my, what's my thoughts here? I'm going to have little holes on the corners. I can maybe fill this up later, but I'll make my decisions about it. All right, where's good places that are solid? Where's the places that are a little weaker? What do I need to do to make him strengthened? That's kind of thoughts going through my head now. So there's some red spots here, you know. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to end up putting some posts here to formulate the walls. I'm going to end up putting posts below to stand up the floor a little bit. And often you'll see me popping over to OBS. Here we go. I, I just like this pose. I wanted to see myself sitting there with my hat off getting rested so I can get out back out there and chop some wood cleaning up some wood from before getting more pine trees killing more gray dwarfs just going about my day as a Viking Viking that does a lot of lumber operations eating my honey keeping my berries keeping my stamina high at this point, I haven't yet done a garden, and that's one of the goals I have as well as expanding my base, but it's sort of a little, everything's kind of one thing at a time, so I'm going to keep focusing on getting wood, making this base, 
And I, I keep going, and I... Yeah, I get these staircases down there. Some things take longer than others. I'm just letting it evolve as I go. want to make sure everything's... walkable. That there's plenty of space within whatever room I have. Flatten the walls, flatten the floor a little bit, just kind of square things up just a bit. It's again one of those things. You can spend a lot of time making things really perfect. I kind of spend just enough time to make things functional. Um, spend a little bit of time in the aesthetics, but probably not at this stage in the game. But one thing I, I think is that I'll keep my base mostly here. Of course, I want, I'll need a planes base. I'll need uh, a miscellaneous base to do things with farming and other things I'll want to do. Um, and this near the stones probably just kind of be expanded further and further left right but i've been complaining the whole time about like the the um incline here it's just not flat enough uh i can make more flatness chopping into the environment like i have there and that's probably what i'm going to do eventually i'll have a dock eventually i'll have more farmland and we just slowly walk in back to my base load full of wood popping that wood up starting to kind of come together now you start to see the windows the shape of the place so let's slow down and take a look at it real quick that's what I thought and uh, that's it where it is I think it was even the end of another video there kind of seamless but I was doing just log outs and log ins so kind of taking those out uh, so what's the point in that yeah getting uh, all these walls now stood up in a uniform way I was noting that the little two pieces I put in there are still there, and why not? Just leave them. Making a little bridge here, got rid of the stairs that were there, so I can have this kind of like something that makes more sense, and ran out of wood right at that point. Um, yeah, a little protective fence just for what I'm doing here, because again, all of this is in anticipation of an eventual raid, and the sort of effort that I want to save when that happens so I don't have to kind of look I had to get <laughs> Crayling was down there in the bottom running around in the moat had to take care of him yeah so you see we got a nice little bridge here doors don't yet have a roof I'm just kind of doing the boundaries and that's allowing a lot of uh, allowing a lot of weathering to go on with the wood well I hope this isn't giving anyone a headache There we go. Back up. Day 32. Yeah, taking a little wood in my local area. Taking a little bit of fine wood. I'm going to use that as we go. Because mostly right now, I think this is the time to try to think about getting the roof on. And yep, there we go. And so yeah, I'm doing kind of just a basic L sort of pattern with the roof. Uh both 45 and 35 degrees just to kind of get a little arched look nothing too extreme fancy or anything just basics just trying to make sure it stays there I was admiring the uh, view where it looks a little off kilter but just because of a one parts extending longer than the other all right getting a little more wood for the front facing wing facing toward the ocean it's gonna go kind of a different direction 90 degrees difference yeah, just popping wood everywhere and so far, I, this is one thing that I kept being afraid of during this segment. Even though my trees often roll downhill and get close to raspberries, I haven't destroyed one raspberry bush yet. I uh, absolutely want to keep those pickables uh, in a position where they'll make as much as possible. All right, doing a little corner pieces here. That was kind of nice just to set that up. Not too big a challenge. But Sometimes it's just kind of getting the angles right. And yeah, that kind of looks nice. Later we'll be taking a lot more looks at this in, s in a slower motion as I get back into the game. Uh, but this is exactly the kind of shell I was going for here. Plenty of space. And eventually I'll even raise it further. So I'll have this basement space and two floors uh, above it. There's a little look at it now. Brief, slower pace. Before we pick it back up again. Rainstorm there, obscuring the ocean view. We'll see that eventually. Yep, so this is thinking a little bit. What are we going to do for defenses? 
we got the fence, but we kind of need to also be able to get up in the air and see things above us when we want. <laughs> Standing there being cold, forgetting how my timer was set so many times. Not remembering if my timer was set right. A little defense in the front. This is always fun trying to build something. Yeah, I just get messing around with how to get those angles. Dropping my wood. Going to get my wood. Killing dwarfs on the way. Getting a ladder to get down in there so I stop falling like a dum dum into my own moat. Man. <sighs> Fight for more wood. Get the fires going. Yeah, and here's like kind of the deal. I'm just balancing my stacks just a little bit of space left. And that's what the move's all about. There you get some more wood. Another wood for the ladders. And the extra perches. I'm going to definitely need more wood. And I'm probably going to want to get a little bit more of a boundary around. That's one of the things I get to building at some point. I don't know if it happens in this video or the next one. There we go. There's the base running up on it. Yes, I'm going to get these boundaries on. And this will make me feel a lot better. So now everything except for the front of this base and the run along the moat is protected by pike wood walls. Um, so that's going to really do all I need for this version, uh, this level. Uh, until I get stone, we can start making far more serious walls. And that is one of the things, I believe, if this particular location for a base sticks around, I'll be probably making it have a stone floor. And I'll be putting stone walls around the outside. Kind of taking a rest, looking at my stuff. And I haven't spent much time having to get bees or honey yet, because mostly it's just been it's base building, wood chopping. Yeah, taking some things out for my new porch here and making it secure but also easy to look over the ledge sticking some things here so whatever people can't just fly in yet oh a little, little shot at the deer there we go uh, good night deer yelp 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 yep we still have time, Cody. <sighs> okay, we're kind of actually trying to set some things in here now. What's up? I don't think I get into actually repacking things here yet, though. What am I doing with this wood? Need a little bit more wood. And I got the wood. Oh, putting things downstairs, including a fire. Oh, yes, the initial build of the fireplace. And the chimney stack. I spent a lot of time on this fireplace and this chimney stack. I then decide I don't want to fire where it is because it doesn't really help anything. Uh, but I am keeping that chimney stack because it is going to still, I believe, play into uh, the smelter and the kiln that I do plan on putting in that basement. So we'll need some of that. And another thing I noticed was, other than having my microphone completely unplugged from the USB cable for seven and a half hours of video footage, that I was getting too close and I was maxing it out. So I'm still trying to make sure I'm narrating and playing from a comfortable position and also maintaining the right distance from the mic. So all these things are just a learning process. I'm enjoying that just as much as the actual aspect of playing the game and creating and watching these videos and doing the edits. Doing the speed up in Adobe Premiere like I did, I mean, it's just a real basic speed up. There's ways that I could have done a little bit more in like After Effects to perhaps smooth and maybe ease some of the jaggedness of it. Um, but I'm not. And I'm not going to do it for the next one either, I don't think. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of interested to see how this ends up on looking on YouTube. I could always come back and if I really think about it, do some post edits. There you go, so I put a fire outside so that I could actually sit in a place and be comfortable. I'm um, still not making the move quite yet, but I will be getting there soon. 
Alright. So, at some point... I'm looking for blueberries and stuff here. I'm trying to just extend my view of the Black Forest a little bit and maybe find just a little bit of copper to take back and leave one of the main things I wanted to get to now is a copper uh, a copper pickaxe. A copper pickaxe and a cultivator are kind of the next things on my list. And yeah, I was doing this method here where I'm going to be digging out from under the copper as much of the dirt as I can before I start really getting into that copper. Um, just because what I want to do is use these smaller axes, um, get enough copper to build a big pickaxe, and then try to get uh, uses <laughs> use it as little as possible to get the entire copper wall to fall. Day 35. Man, I'm taking a run. It's ETH cure. I'm going through the water to get some tin because I got the copper, but I didn't get any tin. So I'm going to get the tin for the bronze. Okay, grab some blueberries. Oof, oof, oof. Kind of like the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Is this an improv game? Okay, there you go. Got some, just enough stuff. I'm going to make a run back straight from here with no pants on. No pants on, fast run. I went all the way around the far edge. So I'm kind of wasting some time here instead of running straight at it. There we go. On my path there. And back at the base. Get some copper going. Get everything smelting. There we go. Yep. And while that's running, I come back here and get the stuff I can portal. Checking out maybe where I want to go later for things. Fire tin. Cold tin, cold tin. Get it all going. Need more wood. Always need more wood. This wood, I believe, would be just for coal. I think. Oh, I had a little freeze there. I'm going to play back while I'm narrating, but that's okay. Shouldn't translate to the final cut. Or it might. One of the things about all of this is I'm really pushing my resources because I'm recording such high quality original material that for 30 minutes, it's 50 to 70 gigabytes of information. And I think I can probably lower that down without any discernible quality, uh, but it's just not a knob I've tuned just yet. Okay, so the idea here is that I, whatever I think I needed, I wanted to get more tin so I can build more bronze. And here we're going at some more copper. I think it was that I, oh, well, I guess I'm just waiting for the other stuff to smelt and then getting some more things while that's happening. And I'm definitely going to want a lot of copper. I think I've decided against upgrading to full bronze armor. I think instead I'm going to do a focus on the troll armor. I just kind of run through that until I feel like, uh, you know, I've been proven wrong and I really do need some bronze armor. Or I can start upgrading to iron once we get into uh, the swamps. Still a little while to go on that, but I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time grinding for bronze uh, when... I know I've got that whole cop, you know, iron thing ahead of me, and uh, I've already got enough skill in the game, I think, to not really worry too much about dying a lot just because I don't have the bronze armor. Uh, we'll put that theory to the test. So yeah, here basically though, to get this entire copper thing, I don't want to be bugged the entire time by gray dwarf, so I put a little fort around it. I think that's always a useful precaution. All right. Looks like I finished one round there, and we're back in for another one. I think if I'm keeping count right, this would be about the halfway point, about number four on the overall videos. With three more to go. Yeah, pop those trees. This might be its own little niche of fast runs F watch the grind but in fast mode it's going to be interesting to see if that any discernible long term thing in the statistics of 
the two fast modes I'm going to do while I'm trying to replace the microphone compared to the slow ones. My guess is most people are going to just want the slow ones. Yeah, and you can see I'm making uh, holes a little bit outside of the boundary above, and I go later to kind of adjust that. But yeah, I just really want to dig out the dirt around this copper. Just kind of an interesting feeling when it does finally pop. Uh, which is when you pull enough of the copper from underneath that uh, the physics of the game cause the rest of the copper to come raining down in a hail of rocks and copper. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm building up there to do. And it'll kind of do it in little pieces and chunks depending on exactly what uh, some factors like if dirt's inside the copper you can't see. Day 37, I was refilling my resin there just to keep my torches going. Yep, see I'm putting the wall a little further. Getting, taking out gray, gray dwarfs as I go. Just getting the dirt nice and clean around there. Finishing up some fencing. Oh, needed another workbench just to get the boundary. There's always more wood needed. Around the side, knock down the fence I don't need, take the remnants of that and put it on up there too. I think I kept trying, <laughs> attempting and failing to jump up that, there, there you go. Yep, I can get up if I eat. And every time I go in, I'm like, oh, I'm back in again. There we go. Well, oh, dwarfs. Okay, so continuing on the little dirt thing. I mean, you know, this might be satisfying to watch in slower motion, depending upon how it's going, but it's kind of funny. I really like it. It's good to have variety. Floating fire. I mean, it's interesting what, you know, the physics is and isn't in the game. I personally like it. It's quirky, it's silly. Um, things float when you don't expect them to. Things fall when you don't want them to. And vice versa. You see, just really getting all the dirt and rocks off of there. And I don't think any... Mostly this was just the getting dirt out section. Not really doing... So, like, I'm using the um, antler pickaxe to do all the dirt. I'm not even going for the copper yet. Occasionally I knock some down, but honestly, that's just to get at more dirt. How low will it go? Always a limit to how low that'll let you dig. And I'm just, in many cases, trying to find that here. Oop, that was a little bit of a bit of a pop there. For some rocks. Yeah, repair those axes. Empty out my chestuses. Uh, taking rocks and moving them over. So I don't have room for them anymore. That's kind of the whole thing about why that new base is there. But we haven't inhabited it yet. I'm just trying to find more places to put resin and go to sleep. Day 38. Got enough blueberries to make Queen's Jam. That was kind of exciting, always is. So yes, I'm doing another walk back with more ore. Huh. Kind of curious what I did with the. Oh wait, I do have the bronze pickaxe, so I'd already made that. I haven't really been using it. I guess now is when I'm trying to make the cultivator. I think so. So I think now is when I'm trying to make the cultivator because I've been really hung like really hungry for carrots, but I haven't been able to have them yet. Okay. I think that's what we've done here. All right, so I think what's basically going on is I'm slowing down just to show this advancement I made where I get finally the cultivator. Um, I think I was going fast when I made the bronze pickaxe. I don't think I made it before. All right. So yeah, this is all kind of working pretty well toward that. Here we go, bomb, bomb, bomb. We got the cultivator. Good news. Now we can make a garden uh, and plant all sorts of trees if we want to. This is just something I always look forward to in the game. I like to get the gardens going. I like to get the farms going because um, I like the sort of exponential growth factor of the plants. It's just kind of a fun 
one of the many fun mechanics here. And I assume somewhat true of the guiding principles of farming itself. But I've never spent a lot of time thinking about that, but uh, you do know that you get a lot of seeds from certain plants. And you do know that seeds make entire other plants with some effort. A lot of interesting history, obviously, with humans and agriculture. Not all of it great. Some of it pretty frickin' bad. But certainly good to be able to feed a lot of people. So I'm just trying to find, even on my weird, very uneven land, I'm just gonna find a nice little small spot to start a small farm. Just kind of trying to get it a little bit even and then also keep my general neighboring area a little bit even like with an idea of like oh it'd be nice if i could pull a cart through here if i need to and you know so it's kind of like i'm doing both the garden and the area around the garden as i just see how it shapes the land uh, this will be where the garden is inside this little fence with a larger fence outside of it Hmm. Oh, okay, no, actually, we're gonna forgot. We're gonna put the garden right here in front of the fence. I was just clearing off some trail area in front of the fence, the secondary inside fence. And there's a thing there. There's a very nice even line if you see it from one side there, um, where the camera cuts. A little artificial seeming, but you know, when you make a garden, you're gonna have some artificial seeming lines. Just maybe not that artificial seeming. Artificial seeming. Not to be confused with artificial semening. We're not. We already did that. We have the boars sitting inside their sheds. I haven't paid much attention because I haven't needed any boar meat. Mostly, I want stamina right now, and I got so many boars and so much boar meat, but I haven't needed to mine it. <laughs> mine it. Oh, I'm mining the old boars for meat. Be careful. You don't want to have a boar collapse while you're up inside there. Speaking of stamina. Yeah, uh, oh, wow. Put more resin in, get more mushrooms. Yes, taking care of chores. All right. Oh, I mean, you know, taking a look at my uh, base in the uh, distance there. down getting some more charcoal going oh yeah we always need more charcoal Put the wood out there next to it and then basically I'm going back here now with my pickaxes and continuing my mining operation the goal of getting this entire thing gone so now we're getting at the actual copper I'm starting to knob what piece at it piece by piece and some more dirt grab the antlers knock the dirt away and get back to the copper That's it. All right. Join us next time. 30 Minute Valheim. We're going to breeze through the next seven episodes.